Thank you. För 15 år sedan var Iggy Pop en rockens psykopat som alltid gick 15 steg längre. För 10 år sedan var Iggy Pop en polare till David Bowie som gjorde soloplattor av skiftande kvalitet. Så vi har en seat. För fem år sedan tystnade plötsligt avgrundsrösten från Detroit. Hey Suchi, can I have that little brown vest? It's a lot warmer. Och för noll år sedan kommer Iggy Pops överraskande mästerverk, bla bla bla. Så när Iggy kom till Stockholm kom han förstås också till södra station. The reviews of your latest album has been the kind of, you know, that are given to the classic rock albums, you know. Uh, obviously you reach something that your listeners have been waiting for for many years. Um, what do you see as the, the strength of this record? Uh, I had to wait myself to, to make the record. I, I think the strength is I took, uh, I took a few years off the, off the grind, mm -hmm. working so much, and uh, it's, uh, it, the work shows in, mm -hmm. in it. Um, I spent a lot of time on the lyrics. I learned to type, and, and I, I just worked like a maniac on this. When did you start working on it? Uh, June of 1985. Mm -hmm. We took a year. Uh, I wrote I wrote for about four months with Steve Jones in on the West Coast. And then I wrote uh, in Europe here with, with David Bowie. Mm. And then when we when we did the actual recording, we didn't have any roadies or hotels, anything like that. We did it on the cheap. Uh, we carried our own amplifiers. All right. Like, plug <laughs> point plug A into point B and does this work up here? We did everything ourselves. Uh -huh. And uh, and I put all my own money into it. I, I, It could have been a disaster, but it worked out. Everybody got their money back. And They're really pleased. It was huh? all right, yeah. And I, I suppose the, I suppose, uh, I mean, there's, there's even love lyrics on it, you know. But there's that too. But does it irritate you that you seem to get most attention from the albums that David Bowie are, are uh, working with? It doesn't really because I mean this I I've gotten so much sorts of attention that that are ridiculous anyway. Mm -hmm. I mean I guess sometimes I got attention because where's the blood, you know, tell us about the broken glass or tell us about the pencils or the hot wax. So it, it just all doesn't matter really. You just take what you get, you know. Yeah. But just about uh, I mean you're you're known as a quite wild character, but how much of this uh image of you from the past has been a result of you know careful planning none of it that none was all it. that was all real i i used to make i would make a record and i'd think it's this is really good yeah. and and uh the people in <clears throat> positions of responsibility in the recording industry mm. didn't see it that way and and uh, they would they would tell me frankly we think this is only going to sell a few copies we're only going to promote it this much and so i just began to develop an attitude of like, okay, well, you know, listen, <laughs> you know, it was like, you know, like screw you, and uh, and and sometimes, sometimes I'd get so discouraged, uh, you know, when when I started playing live, first live gigs with the Stooges, mm. that was during Flower Power, mm. and I wasn't really in opposition to Flower Power, but but our music offended a lot of people, and we used to play, we go out and do a gig, and people would like get to the back of the room. I mean, it would be very, you know, like, let's get away from this guy. Mm -hmm. And so that, would, that made me more aggressive. And, but, and things just escalated, and that was just the way I was. But is your latest album also a reaction against something? It's probably, it was probably a, re a reaction against disorder in my own life. I, I found myself in 1982 and 1983, I, I took a look at my work and the way I was living. I thought this is this is like getting to be like a circus. It's mm. got to stop. And uh, and I learned. I started just by point one was just let's see if we can get up in the morning every day, go through the day sober, mm. go to bed at night, get up again, and just do it over and over for a while. Mm. Then having having established that, now let's see if we can do it and work every day and work, work sober, and once I did that, and then step three was, now let's see if we can do creative work, but without the panic of, oh, it's time to create, 
reach for the beer or it's time to create stick the joint in my mouth or it's time to create let's take some acid or something mm -hmm. and uh, I've been I, I've been working just on the natch now for for a long time and the and the works better that's why it's better my voice is better um, I'm stronger <laughs>